how to promote your direct sales business online. I'm going to give you five very specific steps on how to promote, how to win, and how to make money as fast as you can. Get a pen and paper. So the four things I'm going to talk about is how do you make it successful? What are the components that are going to actually amplify that? Number two, the promotion, which is part of making it successful, but we're going to talk about really specific pieces, especially now that you can do a lot of this through funnels on the internet. Number three, how do you pick which one to join? Can you join multiple? I'm going to add that in because you're going to be told no, and it's not true. And then the fourth, who's making the most money in 2022? So I kind of put together how to be successful and how to promote because they really go hand in hand. If you're not promoting, you're not going to do it. Do you need to do the old fashioned, you know, have everybody come to your home, you know, and do a little party. There are still companies that do that uh, since the pandemic. That's become less and less, but they become Zoom parties. So you could still do it that way, but you do need to train. You need to engage and build. So if I pull it apart and say that's what was successful, what are the five things to promote? Now I'm just going to read these things to you because it's like really specific. Number one, we talked about awareness. Like what, why is your business important? What problems does it solve? Create posts that are meaningful to your followers only. Like what are, what's important to them? The goal is to not only create that engagement, bring traffic, always have someone like engaging, you know, every, even if it's just a quick like or a redirect to another website. And I have some very cool tools to help you with that. At the end, I'm going to give you a little opportunity to let us just do all this front end promotion for you. Interact with your followers um, who are industry leaders. So what happens is if you aren't the industry leader, a lot of times you just kind of revert to, well, I just got to go to my upline. I know the most successful people who have promoted go even around their upline if somebody else in the company is willing to support them. There's executives, there's key leaders who are willing, there's trainers of that company who are willing to train you. So just because your upline may or may not be strong or you don't have the best interaction or they don't have the better systems, don't think that that's your, like, your, your deadlock. You can go other places in the company to get support. The, the trainers of the company is usually where I would go. They're probably the best also at helping you learn to enroll. Make sure you do interaction at the highest level and again, I'd get them on a phone call. I know it seems a little old school for some of you folks, but they want an interaction. They're going to be part of your team. They need to know that you're committed to building a team, to doing weekly calls or trainings, or at least have somebody else do them with and for you. So really make sure that promote stays high. So the stickability of the lead stays high. So how do you make your business successful? You got to create some awareness. I would absolutely go to every social channel and I would start talking about it. So you got to create some conversation, even if they're 30 second clips, one minute clips, why are you excited about the product or the service or the thing you've picked? And what's it going to do for people? What's the problem it solves? What I find with most people when they first do it is all they talk about in their videos and their first, their first awareness or promotion is, oh my gosh, I'm just so in love with this thing. And I love this thing. What does the thing do for you? And more importantly, this isn't about you. What's the problem it's going to solve that's bigger and universal. So you actually can have people opt in and want to know more because it's solving a problem they have. So you need to be the solution to their problem, not just excitable about, you know, happy, joy, joy. I'm all excited about my product. Once you actually start the engagement, like respond, even if you just like comments, engage. I'm super aggressive about saying, Hey, let's jump on a phone call. Let's have a conversation sell them a first small product. Let's get them on the product. See a lot of you, you're spending too much time chitty chatting about it versus get them on a product. And I'm going to break every rule. And I have owned network marketing companies. I've owned direct sales companies. I've been in them and I'm known to kind of not break rules like against their policy. I'm saying break standards, like industry norms. Like I remember this one guy and I was in it for a little, bit, uh, a little while. I think it actually fell down, but it was like some organic and healthy, like little chocolates. And it came in a, like, I don't even remember like a hundred dollar box or $120 box of like all these chocolates. So we were one of my three days to cash. And I said, dude, I'm not going to buy hundred dollars box of chocolate. If I can't even taste it. Oh, but I can't break it up. I said, really said so tonight at the workshop you're going to run down a little grocery store a little convenience store you're going to buy a little set of those little snack baggies and you're going to put four or six or ten in a little bag and you're going to sell them for whatever proportional cost they are so then you can sell little snack packages he's like he thought i was crazy and i said just do it i said i'll actually make the sale for you so he comes back the next day and he had all these little baggies 
sold out like that and they actually tasted good so now people will buy the 120 dollars boxes of 40 because they want the whole you know month or two month or whatever it was of chocolates same thing with any of the direct sales they're going to give you all sorts of little free samples don't give them for free i am not the free girl did you ever see on a channel where i say just be free and cheap and give it away for charity no huge giver high value <laughs> even if it's a lotion and potion they have sample sizes so put three or four of a collective little sample sizes there's all those little you know little baggies you can get at the dollar store you know, you can probably get a like a little pack of, I don't know, 10 or 20 for a dollar and stuff them full of things and now charge $10, $15, $20. If you gave me free samples and then I had to pay for the same exact set in a nice little lace baggie that's all full of things for 10 or $20, guess what I'm going to use first? what I paid for. People do it. I mean, right now people are spending $7 for, at Starbucks just to get a stupid cup of coffee. I promise you they're gonna buy your little sample kit. It gets a little more challenging, like I'm in the wine business, the, the, the lowest I can get one retail bottle is $20. Do your best to break it down and just get them on the product, right? I'm in a gift and a card business, right? With one of the biggest guys in the country that you all probably know about. For 99 cents, you can send somebody a very cool card. He actually just did it to me recently. He went out and he uh, took a picture of uh, my family at my son's football game at Georgia Southern, sent a cool card, but he grabs it off somebody else's site. He put it on there. He put a little note, look forward to us continuing to do business together. Super fun. Sample, 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 create awareness, get engagement, get people on the phone. And don't just say, hey, go to my website and check it out and do not go to the big back-end website of the big host company. Although those are very helpful once they're actually in the business to track your commissions and your downlines and your, you know, your pipelines and all of that. Front facing, it should be you. You're the expert in whatever, in chocolate, in wine, in gift giving, in uh, there's a ton that are in financial services. It's you front facing, giving information and samples. That, and then from the samples and the small stuff, you're moving them into your funnel. If they're willing to buy some stuff, then immediately you follow up and say, hey, now that you bought the one thing, would you like to get on a monthly subscription? Whether it's a face product, whether it's a wine product, get them on a monthly subscription. Then once they're on the monthly subscription, then you move them into being in your business with you. Now, a lot of people are gonna reverse that and say, go find business owners. Why would you want someone who isn't even attached to the product or the process? And then you have big gaps and holes inside your downlines, inside your structures. So find your players, your players are people committed to being on the product on a regular basis. I will speak about this one. Isogenics, we had, we were in that for years and years and years. I still coach some of the biggest six, seven figure earners. And because of the way we taught them how to have little snack boxes, I mean, I, you know how many snack boxes I see? And I know, I mean, we didn't do it, but we were hugely influential in saying, get small little, get a protein bar. I don't even remember the little thing, maybe a little energy pack, but they put two or three little things in a little box that made it very affordable for a front end person who's already on some other product or something to just get in and start getting addicted to their product. So I can tell you, you've got to create the engagement. You've got to create the awareness, interact with them as fast as you can get them on the phone and then take them through that cycle of just a small product to a monthly subscriber to the business product and now you got a player and now you're going to build a business then you go to the back side of their website so i'm not saying don't use them just don't front face build yourself a database i can do all that marketing for you for a very small fee i can put your website together hook you up to a database do all of those things for you on the front side so you can just go 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 and then the backside will be there when you need it. Now, before I talk about which one to pick, because there are so many to pick from, and 82% of them fail, so you better pick properly and then hang on for dear life and do it right, I want you to subscribe to my channel. I teach financial literacy, I teach about money, I teach about business, I'm here five days a week, 10 to 15 minutes is all I'm asking every day. You've done other odd things in your life for 10 or 15 minutes a day. Make money important. For those of you who say, oh, I'm just so scared of money. It's you're not scared of it, you just don't know about it. So learn. I'm here every day. That's the point of this entire channel is to teach you about money. And if there's some conversation that you want to have that's not here, go to the comments and put it in below, but make sure when you subscribe, click the notification and share it with 10 friends and then watch it. Now I'm going to be starting a membership I'm going to tell you about. So I'm going to be giving you quizzes. So I'll know if you're watching my channel or not, because I'm going to talk to you about what I talked about all week. So be prepared. We're going to have fun with this. I want you to have fun learning money. I have, I love money. I've committed my life to teaching you money. So could you be on the other side and have a lot of fun? Like I have a lot of fun. I love to make money. Help to love to help you make money. So how do you pick how to make money in this direct sales world? There's so many. Well, I pick what I like. So I started with the gift company. 
years and years and years ago because I love sending uh, cards. I sent, uh, back in the day, my gosh, I sent Christmas cards to probably a thousand people. And then I sent just my, uh, you know, just a, a more select list. I send thank yous, I send gifts. They expanded into gifts from cards. So I'm in that, I'm in a wine business. I do just like basic stuff. Let's talk about inflation. Right now, the only way you're gonna protect yourself from spending, like if you're buying, I'm in one that just for my home goods, uh, my home cleaning, laundry detergent, all those kinds of things. They actually have more products than that, but I'm mainly for that. Why get the big box stores always have your money? I'm a small and medium sized business lover and promoter and like help your local business. This is American made, it's cool business. So that's probably also what I like about it. And it's organic products. And I have kids, I have in the house, so it's cool. I do a whole bunch. I do a lot of skincare, um, even though, you know, I don't look like I'm, you know, older I am because I have great skincare and I've used that direct sales company for over a decade now. So pick what you like is where I'm going. Pick what you like, pick what you love, um, combine them. Uh, like in mine, my collective of teams I have, there's not one thing that really competes. There's a few things that the one product company does that the other company might do, but pick what you love and then look at their compensation plan. How quickly can you make money? And it's important, and if you don't know how to do that, call in, have a consult with our team, we'll help you pick one. And if you wanna be part of my team, at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to click on a link, come join my team, you can pick whichever one you want, and uh, let's go be super successful and not overpay in a very highly inflationary time. Direct sales company has built-in compensation plans. So for them to raise their price, and do pro big price increases to keep up with the 10% nearly in inflation. Only one company's moved only a couple points just because the product cost that's coming from other countries has gotten a little higher. All of them have stayed the same, if not even gotten better values to keep your spending low. So if you're a big shopper, come join my shopping business with me. I hate shopping, so I use this online system and structure, and I love giving gifts and cards. Now let's talk about 2022. What are the top companies? You're gonna be shocked. I'm shocked because the very company, Amway, that everyone kind of made fun of, of putting the soap in, you know, your garage full of products, they're still number one. So I think the irony of 22 years later, I don't know when they began, but the top five are Amway, Avon, Herbalife, uh, Mary Kay, and Tupperware. So the very ones that you probably grew up with and the ones that say gave the industry a bad name because people like, especially in America, oh my God, direct sales companies. Do you know that direct sales companies in most other countries is a thriving business? And uh, I love the work ethic part. If you actually wanna work it and promote it, you win and you get paid back in spades. So I'm a huge fan. Click on the link below. It's called Beat Inflation. So if you'd like to beat inflation with us and join our team, uh, we'll have someone to call you right after, go through the whole assessment. What do you want to do? How can we help? How can you be part of our team? It'll be super fun. If you want to ever, like, just ask me questions. My biggest call to action is go to asklaurel.com. Ask me a question, make a request, and I'm right there to help you. We have a team that's out there to help you, and uh, I have a new membership coming July 2022. I will be available for two phone calls live a month and 24-7 on a text just for you. So... Go join, let's uh, make some more money and I will talk to you tomorrow.